Yeah, boy. Good afternoon mga kabilyard. Welcome to Sports Hub Reaction and Commentary Videos. For today's reaction video, pag-usapan natin itong napakalupit na laban ni Efren Reyes versus dito kay John Smith noong 2005 US Open 9 Ball Championship. Ito yung isa sa pinaka-prestihiyosong laro no at laban para sa mga pool players sa buong mundo. Nanalo sa lag si uh, John Smith at siya ang magbe-break sa rock number 1. Ang larong ito ay 9 ball at race to 11 naman ang kanilang match. Makikita natin dito talagang uh, naglaban itong dalawang pinakamagagaling na pool artist and pool masters sa US at saka itong si Efren Reyes sa Asia. At ito nga makikita natin dito yung uh, pagkakaroon ng kompetisyon uh, no, nitong dalawang uh, magagaling na pool artist na ito. Nagbreak dyan si... John Smith pero walang pumasok kaya back to table si Efren Reyes ang rule nila ay uh, winner's break so kapag uh, nanalo ang isang player sa isang rack siya pa rin ang magbe-break sa next rack so ang uh, tira niya ni Efren Reyes ay nag-cost ng play safe at babalik sa table si John Smith Isa sa pinakamagagaling na skills ni Efren Reyes yung tinatawag na kick safe. Kaya makikita ninyo dito yung kanyang uh, ginawang uh, pag safety na yan ay uh, naitago niya yung uh, ball number 1 sa likuran ng uh, ball number 3. At ganun pa man, mahusay din itong si John Smith. No? Naitago niya naman itong cue ball sa likuran ng 4 ball. Napakagaling talaga nitong dalawang uh, Uh, pool player na ito at uh, ito back to table si Reyes mukhang uh, gagawa siya ng paraan dito para mag kick safe ulit dito sa ball number 1 napakahusay nung ginawa na yan ni Efren Bata Reyes no? nagawa niya pa rin maitago itong cue ball sa likuran ng 6 uh, ball kaya play safe pa rin ang uh, ginawa na yan no? so trading sila ng uh, safety play dito sa rack number 1 tingnan natin dito si uh, John Smith kung uh, makagawa siya ng paraan para matamaan niya itong one ball They call him the magician just because of the traps that he can get out of. That was a pretty good hit. I mean, he, he, uh... Nagawang patamaan ni John Smith ang uh, ball number one pero na open wide kaya Efren Reyes itong uno kaya back to table si Reyes at uh, pwede niyang uh, ibang shot ito or uh, mag play safe ulit. Panoorin natin mga kabilyar. Bed and rails. What a beautiful table this is. Coca Bolo yeah, Wood. See what he did there? See the two ball control? He hit the rail and he had reverse so the ball came. Another strategic play safe ni Efren Bata Reyes. No? Napakalupit talaga ng kanyang uh, set of play game dito ni Reyes. At makikita ninyo kung gaano siya kagaling talaga sa mga kick safe at saka sa mga play safe. At uh, two rail shot. Natamaan ni. Uh, John Smith, maganda ang pagkaka-cover niya dito sa likuran ng ball number 6. Pero tingnan natin kung anong magagawa dito ni Efren Bata Reyes. Kick 
isang napakalupit na kickbang shot ang pinakita dyan ni Efren Reyes no? at uh, namangha yung mga manunood doon sa ginawang uh, tira na yun ni Reyes at uh, ganun pa man, nagkaroon siya ng konting uh, puwang dito sa ball number 2 at uh, titirahin niya ng masay shot para matamaan itong dos pumasok ang dos at uh, nagkaroon siya ngayon ng uh, open table at mukhang uh, makakaran out dito si Efren Bata Reyes sa rack number 1 Panoorin natin mga kabilyar. The seven could pose problems, Danny. I don't know how it's situated near that right side pocket. You can see it just at the right edge of your picture there. Well, I think if he gets, well, I'll tell you what, the eight is out far enough to go in the side pocket, and I think the seven will go in that side pocket where he's shooting six now. Last three balls na ang ating pambato na si Efren Reyes dito sa rock number one. Mukha talagang uh, nagawa ng paraan ni Reyes na makumpleto niya itong rock number one dahil sa kanyang mga kick safe at saka magic shot. Napakahusay nung kanyang ginawa na yan. Last two ball ni Reyes aiming sa ball number eight sa side pocket. Maganda ang pinapakitang uh, queuing at saka ball control ni Reyes dito sa rock number one. Last ball at aiming siya sa 9 dito sa corner pocket. Pasok ang 9, 1-0 ang score natin. Si Reyes pa rin ang magbe-break sa rack number 2 at uh, makikita natin dito yung kanyang uh, breaking style no nandito dito sa gawing uh, kanang gitna. Dry break ang uh, ginawa na yan ni Efren Reyes kaya back to table dito si John Smith mukhang uh, may chance si John Smith na makabawi ng puntos dito kay Reyes But I like to tell you beginners out there or even your veteran players that when you are on a table and you're having trouble finding out where to break them watch your opponent too and you get two choices to see which is best yours and your opponent if he has success don't be stubborn follow his lead John just trying to roll that cue ball. Walang tira doon si John Smith kaya ang ginawa niya nag-push out siya. Medyo delikado yung ginawa na yun dahil nagkaroon ng magandang uh, opening no. Exacto yung window para matamaan ni Reyes itong ball number one. Tingnan natin kung may pasok ni Reyes. Pasok ang uno at uh, nagkaroon siya ng uh, magandang ball position dito sa dos. Malaking pagkakamali yan ni John Smith. No? Isa sa mga pool player na batikan ay hindi mo pwedeng bigyan ng chance dahil kapag binigyan mo ng chance yan, siguradong uubusin niya yung bola at uh, mag stay ka talaga sa iyong uh, upuan. Ito si Efren Bata Reyes. Meron siyang record na 72 consecutive packet balls sa isang laro kaya hindi mo talaga pwedeng bigyan ng chance si Reyes dahil pwede niyang ubusin ang bola lalo na it is only a nine ball dito sa laro nila well I'll try I played Efren many times and he is a tough guy to beat when he gets in front I mean I don't want to knock him in any form but he is a great front runner he will protect that lead. You know, he's not going to make any mental mistakes. And John knows. He'd like to have that push out o over again. Yeah, I'd like to know exactly what he had in mind. I think he was trying to push for the kick, don't you? He had to be, because yeah. where he was pushing to, he had to Wait be using minute. the three as cover. Well, that's a little closer to his work <laughs> yeah. than he would have liked, but yeah, he's but still in line. Stop perfectly. But, you know, if you go Medyo dikit ng punti dito sa ball number 7. At uh, mukhang gagawa ng paraan nito ni Reyes para maipasok sa corner pocket. Easy shot. At ito nga, last two ball ni Reyes dito sa rack number 2. Mukhang uh, 
Nagtatambakan ng puntos dito si Jan Smith. Napakalupit talaga ng ating idolo na si Efren Reyes. No? Talagang napapakita niya sa iyo yung uh, mga simple shot at saka ma ma magic shots niya dito sa laro nito. Panalo dyan si Reyes. 2-0 ang score natin. At uh, mag advance tayo dito sa rock number 6. Nakabawi ng konti dyan si John Smith kaya ang score natin ay 3-2. Si John Smith ang magbe-break sa rack number 6. Well, he put the ball exactly where Efren had it. So he is watching. And these players work long and hard on the break. So John Schmidt in rack number 6 will be looking to secure a ball. And in an ideal world, leave himself nice on the one. Well, he took a little bit off the break that time. Ginaya ni John Smith yung breaking position ni Reyes. At uh, nagkaroon siya ng problema dyan. Mukhang walang pumasok na bola. Kaya balik sa table si Reyes. At uh, medyo meron siyang opening dito sa ball number one sa corner pocket. Napasobra ni Reyes, no? napaka-easing tira na yon at uh, na-overcut ni Reyes itong ulo kaya hindi pumasok. Very disappointed dyan si Reyes, no? napakadaling tira pero hindi niya naipasok yung uh, ulo. Kaya may chance ngayon si John Smith makabawi dito sa rack number 6. Open ang one ball para kay John Smith. Yeah, that's a rare miss. I didn't expect him to miss there. Of course, John thinks... Miss is an unmarried girl's first name. Now, did he get lucky? Did yeah. he hit this too hard enough? No. Yeah, I think the two goes past in the corner. Yeah, I believe it does. I think it's straight in. Stop the ball and you got the three. Well, now he's looking, but I think it goes. Yes, it does. Really, everything in the open. Just got to control that cue ball. Nagawan pa rin ang paraan ni Smith yung pagpasok doon sa ball number 2. No? Kaya nagkaroon siya ng magandang posisyon dito sa tres. At eto nga, nakakakuha siya ng momentum dito sa rack number 6. Mukhang makakatabla nga dito si John Smith sa rack number 6 dahil sa ganda ng... Uh, ball positioning niya at saka ball control. Aiming si Smith sa ball number 4 at uh, maganda pa rin ang uh, ball positioning niya dito sa 5. Nasa 32 years old si John Smith sa panahon na ito nung makalaban ni Efren Bata Reyes. Si John Smith din ay meron siyang uh, magandang record sa kanyang pool uh, career no? at tinawag nga siyang Mr. 600. Dahil siya lang ang uh, player na nakapag-score uh, ng 600 plus sa isang laban sa scoring match. Perfect angle, go from the 7 to the 8 and look where the 9 is. Just, uh, well, he got a little more angle than he wanted. He may have to hit a rail first. I mean, if he got straight in, it would have been easy. But I think he's got to hit the end rail and bounce back up. Just resettles himself, a lot like a golfer that so may be disturbed. Mukhang nakabawi na talaga dito si John Smith. At ito nga, last ball para sa, uh, sa rack number 6. Mukhang makakatabla siya dito kay uh, Reyes. Pasok ang 9, tabla ang score natin at uh, si John Smith pa rin ang uh, magbe-break dito sa rack number 7. Tingnan natin kung ma-overtican na si Reyes no dito sa rack number 7. Mukhang maganda yung uh, break niya dyan at meron siyang possible shot dito sa one ball. Tingnan natin kung makaran out siya dito sa rack number 7. Panoorin natin mga kabilyar. See what he does. No, he went backwards. He didn't want to gamble on it, but well, he must have this other corner pocket. Good shot because this brings position. Again, he's got a chance. He's got to take take his time. Keep control of his emotions. 
Well, he hit a ball and he still got to the three. Yeah, that worked out all right. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a little easier position, but he got a little fortunate there because he glanced off the ball and fell on the three like he put it with his fingers. And just hampered slightly cueing near that nine, but he doesn't have to do anything with the cue ball, just let it drift back towards the middle. And he should have a nice look at this four. Now the five doesn't go past the nine to the bottom right. So he probably would have liked to have had that cue ball travel a few more inches to the left, Danny, I think. Better angle. Well, I think if he draws back, he's going to have a cut on the, on the five. That's what he did. Because you're automatically going to the six when you make the five. Two rails, just don't go in that corner pocket because you're going towards it, so don't shoot it hard enough to reach it. See it? Anytime you're going towards a pocket and you can't avoid going towards that pocket, you got to shoot easy enough not to reach it. And that's what he did. Great thinking. Look at that stroke. Yeah, John Schmidt's starting to look a little more comfortable. He sped up his speed of play. Yeah, he would like to hit that a little harder, but I don't see any problems. Just don't find any pockets with the cue ball. He's in a funny position, reaching and all that, but he did it, but look where he got. It's pretty good. He's gonna have to hit a rail, but he should have a good shot on the nine. No, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about, does he want to hit one rail only or two rails? Two rails get you to where you can shoot a little bit harder and the cue ball won't get out of play. I think that's what he was looking for. Maganda ang mga tira dyan ni John Smith kaya ito last two balls siya dito sa rack number 7 at napakaganda pa ng uh, ball positioning niya dito sa 9. Mukhang makakaabanti na nga si John Smith no? at uh, makobertikan na niya dito si Efren Reyes. 4-3 ang score natin. Lamag na si uh, John Smith dito sa rock 7. Siya pa rin ang magbe-break sa rock number 8. Tingnan natin kung maka-break and run ulit si John Smith dito sa rock number 8. John Schmidt breaks off in rock number 8, but he found a little success there and he's got to look at the 1. He made three balls on the break. Down. Maganda ang pagkaka-break dyan ni John Smith no? at uh, meron siyang available shot dito sa ball number one. At uh, makikita natin, napakaganda ng break na yan. Tatlong bola ang pumasok at available pa rin yung uh, ball number one dito sa kanyang uh, tira. So malamang makakaran out na naman dito si John Smith sa rack number eight. Tingnan natin mga kabilyar. It is freaky. That's the freaky thing about about the break. You can go and not make a ball on the break, and then all of a sudden you make three. Look at this. Yeah, that was a great oh, shot. Got great that shot. cue ball back to the middle of the table. You can see John just kind of muttering to himself, but boy, he was happy with the way that one unfolded. You want to get close to the six. Pretty good. Yeah, I think he's in rhythm, as you pointed out. I think he is now ready to play. He got through the shaky parts. He made a ball or two or three on the break, and he is certainly uh, feeling good right now. Yeah, looking every bit. Last two ball na dito si John Smith sa rack number eight. Mukhang uh, makakaran out nga siya dito at napakaganda ng ball control niya at ball positioning. Last ball at uh, aiming siya dito sa nine ball sa corner pocket. Pasok ang 9, 5-3 ang score natin. Lamang na lamang na dyan si John Smith. No? Dalawang uh, rock ang lamang ni John Smith dito sa rock number 8. At uh, tingnan natin sa rock number 9, siya pa rin ang magbe-break dito sa rock number 9. Mukhang wala ang pumasok dyan sa break na yan ni John Smith, dry break, no? kaya back to table itong si Efren Reyes. Tingnan natin kung makabawi si Reyes dito sa rack number 9.
John was hitting balls <laughs> prior to this match as Efren was and uh, and both of them actually commented you know, the conditions were ideal a lot of the players around the venue and this year's US Open Championships have been you know, very quick to say that these pockets are too tight but I think the humidity it's been very humid here in Chesapeake all week you know, rained heavily last night thunderstorms and that adds to the climate always has a as a factor, plays a major role in how tables play. Well, and I think under the TV lights here, Danny, yeah. I think that this table is, is considerably drier than the others in the venue. It definitely is. We have special lights for TV on this table, and it throws heat out and dries the cloth. Mahusay yung pinakita ni Reyes doon sa combination 3 to 8 sa side pocket no? at uh, nakakuha siya ng magandang angulo para maipasok naman yung 3 sa corner pocket. Napakahusay, mukhang uh, makakaran out nga siya dito sa rack number 9. Panoorin natin mga kabilyar. That one didn't hit a rail. No. Dead center. And perfectly positioned now, just wants to draw back. Get the cue ball back towards the center of the table for the six to the bottom left corner. He already made the eight in a combination shot to the side, so Efren Reyes should be pulling one back here, barring an earthquake. Don't say that. <laughs> earthquake. Don't we, tempt we, fate. We've, we've avoided <laughs> hurricanes. We, but I'll tell you, in Johnson City one time, Ronnie Allen was playing a match, and he didn't have a shot. And an earthquake hit. Everybody ran outside. And when Ronnie came back in to shoot... At uh, yun nga, nakuhang uh, makalas ball si Reyes dito sa rack number 9. No? Maganda yung mga cue ball uh, positioning niya at saka itong uh, queuing pa packeting niya. At saka naipasok niya itong 9 sa corner packet. 5-4 ang score natin. Lamang pa rin ng isang punto si John Smith. Pero mukhang nagpatay mo dito si Reyes at uh, magbe-break ng konti. Si Reyes pa rin ang magbe-break sa rack number 10. Tingnan natin kung makabawi siya dito sa kanyang uh, tira. Abante tayo dito sa rack number 12 at ang score natin dyan 6-5. Lamang pa rin si Jan Smith. Si Efren Reyes mukhang nga nakabawi doon sa huli niyang uh, rack at siya yung nag-break dito sa rack number 12. Makikita natin dito na meron siyang uh, magandang ball positioning dito sa kanyang uh, uh, ball number one at uh, nag-play safe si Reyes at itinago niya itong uh, ball number one sa likuran ng clusters no? napakahusay nung kanyang uh, play safe na yan back to table naman itong si Smith tingnan natin kung uh, matamaan niya itong uno at uh, makakuha siya ng magandang safety he's gonna make right decisions I've been trying to figure it out now for 20 years. Where did he learn all this stuff? They had to have a player in the Philippines. Yeah. Bad kick. <coughs> yeah, Reyes has bought himself ball. Hindi hand. tinamaan no at uh, foul Jan si Smith. Yeah. Ball in hand naman kay Reyes. At uh, ito nga, itinutok niya itong uh, cue ball dito sa one ball para sa magandang angulo. Para sa perfect position niya sa dos. His strategy worked perfectly. Well, does he have a good enough angle to draw it back, shoot the ball? Let's see. He's, yeah, he has the angle. He's not going in the side. Well, he didn't gamble on the side. He hit more center ball and didn't mess with going on the other side of that pocket. And he got straight in, and it looks like he's just going to have to make it and draw back for the five in the side. Just a little draw straight back. Just enough. He's got the shot. Roll it in and shoot the six in that right-hand corner pocket. No, you don't want to roll it. Sometimes rolling it when you don't feel perfect isn't the thing to do. He, he had more control hitting the rail and bouncing. He did it perfectly. Because he has an angle now to get close to the seven. couple unforced errors saw Reyes back to his chair a little earlier than many would have expected and 
Schmidt has played virtually perfect pool. He's only really missed one shot in the whole match. And would you believe it? It's going to be 6-6. Yeah. You play 12 racks, you've missed one ball. And who'd believe it'd be 6-6? Six, six? Well, it's not 6-6 six, six yet because he's looking at this. Does he have a sufficient angle to make the 7 and go to the 8 for an easy shot? No, he didn't. So he had to take a long shot on the 8. He would love to have a better shot than this, but this is what he decided. And if you're positive you're shooting the right shot, you're going to have success. It's only when you're uncertain. He shot the right shot. He said, I'll take the shot on the 8. That's the good choice. And he figures to hit this well because of it. Medyo alanganin ng konti dyan yung 8 uh, no? at uh, kumukuha ng magandang posisyon si Reyes para sa 9. Pumasok at maganda yung uh, for rail uh, cushion nitong si Reyes. Mukhang uh, sumakto ng uh, posisyon at uh, konting push lang ito dito sa corner pocket. Pasok ang 9, mukhang nakatabla talaga dito si Reyes, no? All 6 ang score natin at uh, si Reyes ang magbe-break sa rack number 13. Maganda ang pinakita dyan ni Reyes, kaya tingnan natin kung uh, maka-break and run siya ulit sa rack number 13. Si Reyes pa rin ang magbe-break. Far from easy, he's going to be bridging right over the 7. Well, the thing about it is if you make the ball, you're automatically going to the 2. So, uh... You know, he originally stopped the cue ball. It was just dead stopped in the middle of the table. That's the idea of the break. But something hit the ball and made it a little off. But I see no problems. A little right-hand English. He still got an angle. Now, I think this is the whole game falling on the three. Just want to acknowledge some of our sponsors at this year's U.S. Open. Q-Tech Cues. Serious cues for serious players. Chalk off the pool table cleaner. It's been employed here many times on this main table to keep all the chalk and dirt off that cloth. I want to thank BCA. Playbca.com. Simonis cloth recovered all the tables at this year's U.S. Open. 16 tables all recovered with beautiful Simonis 860 cloth. And when do you not draw rave reviews when you've got the best cloth in the world on the best tables in the world? These beautiful diamond billiard tables. Gorgeous. Greg Sullivan told me the Coca Cola, the Coca Bola wood on that table could make a hundred cue sticks, and he'd make way more with the wood that way than on the table. Gorgeous wood. This table would look very good in your living room. Mukhang nakakuha talaga ng momentum dito si Reyes no at uh, ito nga last two balls si Reyes. Aiming siya dito sa ball number 7 muntik ng uh, makakuha siya ng magandang position sana pero ito mukhang ipapasok niya itong uh, ball number 7 sa side pocket. Pasok ang uh, 7 sa side pocket napakahusay ng kanyang uh, cue ball control at ball positioning. Last ball si Reyes dito sa rack number 13. Mukhang nga abante siya. Pasok ang 9. Lamang na ngayon si Reyes. 7-6 no? ang score natin. At uh, lumamang si Reyes ng isa. Siya pa rin ang magbe-break sa rack number 14. You notice how the cue ball almost went in that side pocket but almost doesn't count. Well, if he makes this, I'm sure he's going to fall on the two. This is the whole shot right now. Fall on the two. And this game looks like there's no problems. Don't get over the top, though. Nope. He's fine. Well, John is sitting there helpless. I mean, you know, he's just got to wait for Efren to make some kind of error or else he's in trouble. Not really the sort of position you want to be in when you've got to depend on an Ooh, error from a player this. like Reyes. I mean, you, you really want to be in control of your fate. Well, he liked it better when he was a couple games ahead, that's for sure. Is he going to come off the point here? 
might be point position. Well, no, he went a little forward with that soft stroke because the softer you shoot, the less the cue ball glances. A little more speed, he would hit that point and possibly gone behind the seven. But he has all that knowledge, speed. Maganda na sana yung uh, ball positioning ni Reyes pero ito mukhang uh, may scratches dito sa side pocket. Pumasok ang uh, cue ball. Foul si Reyes dyan kaya ball in hand kay uh, Smith. No? Unexpected ni Reyes yun na uh, may scratch doon sa side pocket. Kaya mukhang uh, makaka-dominant dito. No? Mamomonopolize ni John Smith. Capitalize niya itong uh, rock number 14. At ito nga, aiming na siya dito sa 5 At uh, maganda yung ball positioning niya dito Kaya mukhang uh, makukuha niya May steal niya itong rock number 14 kay Reyes Johnny, you got me excited there Yeah, yeah well he was going towards the pocket himself But he hit it soft enough Well He doesn't. He feels awkward about the stance here and what he has to do with the cue ball. Yeah, he doesn't. He's going to have to bounce. Well, I don't know what he's doing. I think he's supposed to draw the ball one rail and shoot the seven in that pocket to the right of him. Let's see what he does. I don't know. Going forward, I don't know if the, the angle in the side is real good. You know, he could fall in the side pocket. Well, he's just gotten up off this three times. Obviously, he can't settle himself in his mind exactly how he wants to attack this. But like you, I think he's just draw to the side cushion. That's what he did. How's the speed? Man, dangerous. I thought he'd pull it back closer to the middle, take the nine out of play. Well, he happened to hit it with great speed, and he's got a clear shot at the seven. Last ball si Smith at uh, aiming siya dito sa ball number 9 sa corner pocket. Mukhang makakatabla dito at na-steal nga ni Smith no yung uh, momentum ni Reyes dito sa rack number 14. Pasok ang 9 at uh, tablang score natin all 7. Abante tayo sa rack number 17 at ang score natin dyan parehong uh, score ulit 8 all. Si Reyes ang uh, nakabawi dyan sa rock number 16. Kaya siya pa rin ang magbe-break dito sa rock number 17. Panoorin natin kung maka-break and run siya dito sa rock number 17. Ang score natin, 8 all. Mukhang walang pumasok dyan sa break na yan ni Reyes, no? the dry break. At uh, ito nga, nagkaroon ng chance itong si John Smith para makabawi siya dito sa rock number 17. Meron siyang available siya dito sa one ball at tingnan natin kung makaran out siya dito sa rock 17. What he did was hit that ball so that kept him in position for the two. He didn't want to go back and forth with all that obstruction. So he hit one ball and controlled it nicely to the two ball. Everything's in the open again. So often we say it, but this is all about just controlling that cue ball and getting it into the intended area. And there he just slightly overran. Ideal position. Now from the three to the four, a tall order. Yeah, it is. He may be better advised to just trundle up in behind that nine. Yeah, how about going, yeah, I don't know if trundle up is what I'm thinking. Well, you know what? He's, he's going to try and bank this. It's a free shot. If he misses it, he's hoping a little wide. But it was good. Sumablay jan si Smith no sa bang shot niya nyan sa tres at ito nga nagkaroon na naman ng pagkakataon si Reyes na makabawi dito sa rack number seventeen. Open na open ang table kay Reyes dito sa ball number three. Tingnan natin kung makaranot siya pano orin natin mga kabilyar. And that's what he was counting on. If he made it, he had an easy shot. If he didn't, the other guy had difficulty. That's the way it's sitting. Is he shooting it at all? Oh, how about that? He made it look easy. So all that talk was nothing. You know, I was about to say that uh, you never get a rush of blood from Reyes. I mean, everything he does tends to be very calculating. 
great you, shot. You hear all the applause. Well, I can tell you we've got the showman himself, Keith McCready, down right beside the main table. Maganda na sana ang momentum dyan ni Reyes, no? pero na-overcut niya itong 4, kaya na-open kay Smith. Itong uh, uh, rock number 17. Panoorin natin mga kaibigan, mga kabilyard, mukhang uh, makakabawi dito at makakalabang si Smith sa 17 rock na ito. He's enjoying a 3-1 lead at the moment and I can tell you the fans will let you know how that one goes out. McCready has quite a following. Schmidt looking to punish that miss from Reyes. That was a good opening shot. The shot was tough, but the speed was, you know, was tougher. That's one thing about John, though, in this match. I mean, there have been some, certainly some chinks in Reyes's armor, some unforced errors, but Schmidt has punished every one of them, Danny. Oh. And I think, for me, that's been the characteristic of this match. You're exactly right. That's a good call, and uh, uh, that's what you have to do to win big tournaments. Take advantage of your opponent when he does make him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Unexpected na mistake dyan ni uh, John Smith. No? Napa-overcut niya yung uh, ball na yun. Kaya hindi pumasok. Nag-cliffhanging uh, dito sa corner pocket. Kaya ito advantage ni Reyes. At uh, mukhang itetake niya itong advantage nito para ma-steal niya itong rock number 17 kay Smith. Last two balls si Reyes at uh, mukhang maganda ang ball positioning niya dito. At uh, sigurado na yung uh, panalo niya dito sa rack 17 at uh, overtake siya ng isa pang puntos. Still lives to secure the rack. He's going to grow in confidence. And what a big miss that is. John Schmidt with his head down. Aiming sa side sa corner pocket, pasok ang 9. Panalo si Reyes dyan, no? 9-8 ang score natin, lamang si Reyes ng isang uh, rack. At uh, siya pa rin ang magbe-break sa rack number 18. Maganda ang break ni Reyes. At yun, na-push yung 9 doon sa corner pocket. Pasok ang 9. Mukhang naka-free siya ng isang rack dito sa rack number 19. No? At uh, yun nga, pumasok yung uh, 9 doon sa corner pocket. Bonus kay Reyes yan. score natin ngayon, 10-8. Lamang si Reyes ng dalawang puntos. At uh, nandiyan siya ngayon sa hill, no? At uh, mukhang uh, nalalapit na yung panalo dito ni Reyes. Siya pa rin ang magbe-break sa last rock. And finally, Reyes gets himself in front. I think that missed seven brought Schmidt's average down noticeably. But Efren 10-8 in front comes to the table. This will be his last break in this match. Ito, magbe-break na si Reyes dito sa last rock niya, rock number 19. At uh, dahil doon sa pagkakamali ni Smith na yun, nakakuha siya ng chance. Masama ang breaking dito ni Reyes, tumalbo yung bola. Foul yan, kaya ball in hand para kay Smith. Medyo makakabawi ng konti dito si John Smith dahil naka-ball in hand siya dito sa rock number 19. I wonder if Reyes tried to put a little extra into that one. John just wiping the cue ball off. It was on the floor. It's good thinking. Might It is good thinking. You bet. It, it shows composure. and I mean, it gives him a chance to gather really? his emotions and, yeah. and sign plus, of experience. Plus, if a little dirt spot gets on that cue ball and you contact that object ball at that point, uh, you may miss because of that. So that's pretty... Uh, wise thinking for a young man. Well, he knows this is it. This is his last chance to get in this match. When you want to get out, remember that ball you missed so you don't do it again. You know, he missed it because of a flaw in the stroke, so let's stay down and shoot all the fundamentals perfectly. Just has to clear the opening. He's just looking with his eyes where he wants to take that cue ball. He's got a couple choices here. I don't think he has to travel too far with that cue ball. No. Just keep it at that end of the table. As I said, he's got that opening between the seven and the eight. Now just off two cushions to 
I mean, the problem really is going to be from the five to the six, Danny. You're right. So he better get good on this shot. I don't know if he's going to. He went two rails, like you said, but he caught the point. Now he's in trouble. Oh, he's shaky. He's shaky. That was a terrible shot. That was really a terrible shot because now you have a tough shot in tough position. You know, anytime you're near the rail like this, there's not too much you could do with the cue ball. And he can't just cinch the ball because that does not bring him to the uh, six ball. He's going to have to gamble. How do you get to the six? I mean, he's going to try to draw it back a little bit and shoot the six in the side. And he couldn't get the draw because, like I said, you're near that rail. You can't hit that cue ball everywhere, and you needed to hit it low. Oh, he's in a little bit of trouble here because he's got a tough shot now, and there's no guarantee that he's going to get on the seven. Can he cut it in the side? Maganda ang pinakita ni Speed dyan, pero alanganin siya dito sa ball number six sa side pocket. At ito nga, medyo na undercut ni Smith itong uh, ball number 6 sa uh, side pocket at na open, no? wide open itong uh, last rock kay Reyes. Kaya tingnan natin, mukhang uh, talagang very disappointed dyan si Smith sa mga tira niya na yan. Dalawang mali ni Smith no? at uh, nag-cost ng uh, malaking problema. Ito nga, last, uh, last three ball si Reyes, pasok yung sa isa corner pocket. Mukhang uh, aabante na talaga sa panalo itong si Reyes dito sa last rock. And it's really tough to win a tournament on the loser side because you'd have to win about eight in a row now or so, maybe more. Well, you've got to hold your hat though to Reyes. <laughs> got to tip your hat to him. He's stuck to his guns. Wasn't been a performance that's going to uh, go down in the history books. Is one of the great ones here in U.S. Open history, but. Uh, a win is a win is a win. Yeah. And it was very interesting. And again, that suspense element that when a player looks like he's getting out and he doesn't, it's like a little bit of a shock. Imagine how. Makikita mo talaga sa mukha ni Smith yung pagka disappointed no dahil sa mga maling tira na yon. At ito, nakatutok na itong uh, 9 sa corner pocket. Mukhang uh, mananalo na si Reyes dito sa kanilang match. Pasok ang 9, panalo dyan si Efren Bata Reyes. Congratulations, Efren Reyes. Thank you for watching, guys. See you on my next video.